Okay, everyone, it's been a little while, so here I am. Of course, I adjust that so it hits the light just right. Anyway, um, I'm going to start off with saying this week I'm making a pumpkin pie so that Rob can eat it for breakfast because that's what he wants, and I'm usually gone by the time he rolls out of bed. Anyway, um, but that is my little project for the evening. I'm almost done. Um, but the first lesson that I have learned is you should not cheat and buy one of those graham cracker crusts because you're going to try and dump it out a tin foil part and it's going to crumble <laughs> into several pieces. So what I'm doing instead is I have ground up what remained wonderfully. I'm going to add a little bit of butter and then mash it down and bake it for like... 10 minutes or something. Um, that's how you would usually make a graham cracker crust like that. You just ground up some graham crackers, mix it with some butter, mash it, bake for 10 or 15 minutes at 350, and voila, you have a graham cracker crust. I tried to be lazy and avoid those simple steps, and uh, yeah. Anyway, so I didn't realize this, that butter is still hot, um, until after I had already like made my like pumpkin stuff. This is like kind of a pumpkin pie meringue thing. Because I have a meringue all mixed up. It's like a, I think they call it a chiffon pie. Anyway, I have my pumpkin mixed up. I have my meringue mixed up. And I'm going to have you guys watch me fold it in while I wait for that to bake. Hopefully this is cool enough that I don't burn myself <laughs> while I'm mixing this butter in. Um, see how that goes. Maybe I should use a fork or a different utensil. I'll learn my lesson. It'll be great. It'll be entertaining for you guys. I used maybe oh, just a little bit, a tiny little bit of butter. Pretty much because this is a pre-made like graham cracker crust mix. It probably already has a bunch of crap in there. In fact, I vaguely looked at the label and it does. Mm, but this isn't very moist. Maybe I need more butter. Uh, I think I do. As I'm getting graham cracker everywhere. too much of it. Yeah, I definitely need more butter. So I'm going to get some more butter. Microwave that up real fast. It's mostly to make sure this is moist and I don't like completely dry it out and that kind of jazz. But anyway, it has been forever since I've talked to everybody. I don't particularly know why. I guess I've just been busy, caught up in life. Not any one thing, I think it's just everything just snowballing. I'm sure you guys understand that. Your lives probably do that too. Anyway, so since I've talked to you guys, what has happened? Um, started playing a new game with my brother. It's actually a Mass Effect based game. And uh, if anyone ever reads The Way of Kings, I'm ba I base my character off of one of those. But for those of you who actually know Mass Effect and all that jazz, um, I'm playing Asari, not one of the Yakvin Yashi or the other crazy chicks that are portrayed in just a regular old Asari, okay? I'm not running around killing people or running around trying to find the Asari that kill people. No, not doing that. My chick's an engineer. She specializes in Prothean technology. She's one of the few Asari that are actually more purple than blue, so she's pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, so... I'm excited about that. Fun times. Um, it's been pretty fun so far, actually. We're the plot is that someone is using the uh, I even forget the name of it, the little gates that you transport around the universe with. They're using those to uh, destroy planets, and uh, we're like a little like a specialized squad to uh, go around and. Uh, find out what's happening with that, and stop it, essentially. So, we have a very interesting group. I'm convinced sooner or later my chick is going to have sex with someone in the group. It happens. I'm not sorry. But I'm old, old sorry. I'm like 700 years old. And it would make more sense if you knew the character I was trying to portray, because you'd be like, oh yeah, she's an older lady. Not like a hag, but like, 
definitely beyond her prime. And not like in a bad way. She's just older. Yeah, this is getting nice and moist now. Um, but I'm really excited about that game. It's going to be super duper fun. We're trying out a new system, so we're also working out the kinks of that and trying to uh, I guess with this cer this particular thing that we're going through this particular system combat's a little odd and can be a little tedious I would say so we're trying to kind of work through those kind of kinks right now it didn't help that the first combat day the first day we played it with combat and everything half the people weren't able to be there so we kind of had to start over re-explaining everything again this past week when they were there <laughs> not like a diss on them like they're busy like we are so it was just like and again but I, maybe it was kind of better because there were fewer of us who didn't understand what was happening and there were a few of us trying to learn it and that kind of jazz so we'll see. Okay. Well, got my crust all uh, made up. I'm just making my hands less buttery and slippery as you look at my cabinet. Hey, there I am. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening in that game. In the other game, we had a side plot going on for a while where we actually played different characters for a while, which was pretty awesome. I was uh, playing a, what to call it, witch doctor, voodoo priest type thing. Anyway, so it's, I, I like it, it's kind of fun, I'm this weird quirky person running around eating too many shrooms. I don't think she'll get slept with. She's a cobalt. And that's okay in our game because we're actually, our kingdom is allied <laughs> with a cobalt nation. So it makes a lot of sense. Even though it doesn't for most games. Okay. Sorry, that's probably not too well. Okay, so I got my pumpkin mixture here. It's all pumpkin-y. And now I'm going to start adding my meringue. Probably looks like white fluff. That's what it is. It's, meringue is just a little bit of egg whites, a little bit of sugar. Beat it. Fluffy goodness. I'm very, very happy with meringues every single time. I love it. They amaze me. I'm like, how did this happen? This was like egg and crap, and now it's not. So... I'm going to be spooning some of this out, and you're supposed to fold it in. That's for any non-bakery people. I'm not a huge bakery person, but make it so it remains all fluffy and airy and delicious. So, it can, folding takes a little bit longer, I would say, than stirring, but it's not bad. Doo -doo -doo. So, let's see, what else has happened? Um, I finally got my cavity filled. Yay! It was kind of complicated finding the time to do it just because I was starting that side position I told you all about and I didn't know what hours I could or could not get away and everything, so I kind of procrastinated in setting up that appointment a little bit. But it's taken care of and it was fantastic. I should get more cavities. <laughs> not really, I'm not going to actually get more cavities. That would be crazy. My doctor would be very angry at me. You did not see me licking the bowl like this. Mm -mm. Didn't happen. Anyway, um, but it wasn't bad because my doctor's office is real swanky and she has a TV for you to watch while she's doing stuff to you. Even just for like regular appointments. It doesn't have to be like a cavity filling. It's just like, mm, whatever. Here's a TV. Throw something on. Have fun. Relax. Which is really nice because it kind of distracts you from the fact that there's someone with sharp pointy objects and or a drill in your mouth. It's always a little disconcerting, you know. Like, oh, this could kill me. 
me if she <laughs> yeah, did the right thing. <laughs> but, um, so I actually, like, just, like, watched some of, like, a Disney movie <laughs> as she was, like, filling in my cavity. It only took, like, half an hour. It was not bad considering the fact that I think it was a pretty bad cavity. At least compared to the one Rob had. Rob, it was real minor and tiny because I was describing what mine looked like to him and he was like, that's a lot worse than mine was. And I'm like, well, you can shut it. <laughs> I like sugar more than you. <laughs> Clearly. But, um, no, it wasn't bad. I, I thought it was really funny, especially because, like, we went to a sporting game afterwards. So, like, we're at the tailgate, and, like, right before the tailgate and everything, I'm like, I feel like I've had plastic surgery. I can't really smile. My lip is this giant. And <laughs> it was hilarious. Because Rob was making fun of me the whole time, too. And I kept bragging to everyone that I got cavity filled. And so, of course, because that sounds insane to be happy about, they all looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> because that is kind of insane to be happy about. From what I've heard, that hurts for most people, but they did an awesome job with the anesthetic. Because even, like, Rob was telling me how, like, it'll be tender afterwards and everything, like, later that day. Didn't notice it. Maybe this but because I was drinking at the tailgate. But, you know, didn't notice it. It was awesome. I liked it, but minor details. <sighs> foldy, 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 fold. So that happened. Um, this weekend is another tailgate, actually. Um, I'm making much less extravagant things. I'm just um, throwing together some coleslaw because we're having like brats and stuff so I'm throwing together, together some coleslaw I'm going to bring some um, sauerkraut and, and by throwing together some coleslaw I mean I'm I have like the little like pre-made like this is coleslaw chopped up without the sauce and I bought like a thing of Hidden Valley um, coleslaw sauce which, by the way, I'm impressed with Hidden Valley because I was comparing, like, that with, uh, like, Kraft with, like, their, like, ingredient lists and, uh, I was happy with, uh, Hidden Valley. It looked a lot more normal for what you would want to see. Like, it didn't have a lot of weird stuff in it like a lot of stuff does. So, I am finis finished mixing up my, uh, pumpkin. I have, like, five more minutes on the crust. Just so you see. Ta-da! So it's kind of more of a, uh, it's not like an orangey orange, it's like a lighter colored orange, because it has all that white meringue in there, so that really changes the color a little bit for it. But pretty much I'm going to dump this in the crust and I am done. Yes, I am just eating meringue right now. Totally happening. This is why I got a cavity. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. I just have to get it to chill. I have, uh, whipped cream in the fridge for Rob, which, by the way, for everyone, baking whipped cream is real easy. Again, I was being lazy and didn't do it. This time it's not going to backfire like the crust. But, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's pretty much heavy whipping cream, sugar, mix it, and, yeah, it's pretty much a meringue, but you use, uh, heavy cream instead of a light. Probably why they have the same consistency, more or less. You just whip it until you get those, like, high peaks. Like, if you're, like, playing around with whipped cream, like, it's going to, like, stick up on its ends and stuff. Until it pretty much has that consistency. Guess I know this is terrible for me. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, what else has been happening with my life? Feels like a lot more, but it also feels like a lot less. But... Um, since I mentioned The Way of Kings earlier, I do want to mention that there is another Brandon Sanderson book that is not part of a series. It's a single sentence, single novel. So if you want to read, like, one book and not get hooked onto a giant series, see if whether or not you like him and it's not a big book, I recommend uh, Warbreaker. It's, really, it's the first Brandon Sanderson book I read. It's really good. Um, all of this stuff is generally, like, fantasy 
but it, it's a good story. I liked it. So there are two sisters in there. Kind of makes me think of me and my sister a little bit. Mm -hmm. You guys read it. I give you two guesses which one is me. But anyway, this pie is almost done. Uh, what else has been happening in my life? I've been on a bigger kick of tea. Rob's been going off to like Tavana and getting teas. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's Tivana. Uh, okay, you guys probably know that brand. I would be shocked if you didn't. At least I'm pretty sure Shed, not Shed, huh, names. Shep, Shep does. So, well, I should make sure I have oven mitts up there ready to <laughs> not burning yourself on hot things. That's the goal, anyway. This is actually smelling uh, pretty awesome. Like wonderful graham crackers. But, how's this tasting? That's pretty good. So, I'm excited about life. <laughs> Let's see, is anything exciting coming up in my life? I don't think so. I don't have anything big planned. I'm just doing stuff, I guess. This is turning really depressing and quiet at the end. But I really want you guys to see this pie all filled up. I'm running out of things to say, and I do not know how to video it. I don't think I have those programs on this really, 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 really dumb laptop. Can you tell I don't like my laptop? It's terrible. It has like a Android Windows 8 type system. Oh my god, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It is terrible to have like that Windows 8 like tablet format on the laptop. It's dumb. See, there was crustiness on the inside. I didn't want to completely flip it though, like sideways at you. You could be like, ha ah, ha, because then it would have fallen out with my luck of tonight. So, alright. Let's start filling this baby up. Do, 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 do. So, that's my life in a nutshell. Cats are doing well. I recently took them to the vet. Um, yeah, that, that's been since I talked to you guys. So, Mia Salini is a normal cat size and everything. She's like eight and a half pounds, right? She's small. Sharon, on the other hand, is like 12 pounds. So the vet was like, mm, you could probably lose some weight, blah, blah, blah. But Rob and I are pretty convinced that she is a Turkish, either like a Turkish van or a Norwegian boar's cat or some combination. Like, that's somewhere in her like genetic makeup because she is just a real big fluffy cat and like even though yes she is I would say slightly chubby I would say it's more that it's more like she's just a big cat she's just huge she's a monster she'll eat you not really she'll eat me because she hates me because she wants all of Rob's love to herself which is partially why we got me out Selene so that I had something that might love me back. And it's working. <laughs> I have something that will love me a little bit sometimes, even though I have to spray her down horrendously when she scratches her chair. Mm, this is delicious. But anyway, so those are my woes sooner or later. Like whenever we take the cat, cat's back next year. And they're like, sure, when you should lose weight. I'll be like, is it possible she has, like, she's, like, a mix with, like, a Turkish van or one of those bigger giant cats where, like, 12 pounds is actually the normal weight? And they'll be like, well, it's probably hard to tell, though, because she has a really short tail, which is unfortunate, but y'all is so adorable. She's, like, this huge cat, and she's an itty-bitty tail. Okay, well, it's not itty-bitty, but it's clearly shorter than my cat's tails. It's dwarfed compared to Massalini's. I know, you're looking this is kind of gross. I don't care. This is totally happening right now. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. As you watch me pig out over pie remnants.
I can show you my glorious pie now. Let me move this bowl because right now the computer's plugged in because the cow died. And that's why I use I'm going to try to slide the pie crust over to you and I uh, do that bare handed. I don't recommend that. <laughs> I do it anyway. Ta-da, pie! Stop being off. Haha! Normal colored. Maybe. I'm so bad at this camera stuff, you guys. You have no idea. It's a miracle. Oh, here, maybe my shadow helps. No, I don't. But you get the idea. It's a pie full of stuff and it's glorious and yummy. It's me eating it. So, this is a camera angle. Mm. I'm too close. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it as I'm like scanning my kitchen for no apparent reason. So, I'll try and uh, not lie behind this bed next time. Rob is a figment of your imagination. Um, he's been in a dark room all night. I'm very jealous of him right now because he's on the computer where my South Park The Stick of Truth game is that I want to play until he dies a little bit. <laughs> it's a fun game. Um, it's not really serious, but it's kind of a Game of Thrones themed. So it kind of has a vague Dungeons and Dragons feel to it as you're running around as... Right now, I'm a Jew. <laughs> That's my class. But I can do, like, jujitsu, and I have, like, the sling of, um, the little guy and the giant. That thing. I'll remember it later when I stop caring. <laughs> it's hilarious. And one of my other powers is I, like, go and I, like, cut someone up. It's like I'm performing a, uh, circumcision. <laughs> it has hilarious jokes like that. And there's also, of course, because of South Park, there's all, uh, a little bit of anal probing. You know, it's good times, good times. And you're, of course, you know, the hero of the story, and you're running around, and you're awesome, and you're like, I can make friends like a boss. <laughs> but your family's really worried about you, because apparently you don't talk anymore. <laughs> I'm really interested to see why. <laughs> I like the game. I think it's hilarious, and my cat's smelling my plate a dinner on. Don't go in the cup! I want to drink out of it later. <laughs> she didn't, though. Oh, we got the cat's bow ties. Chairman turned hers inside out. I think that was a sign of rebellion. Meows <laughs> looks like the little kid that you put like a little bow tie on who really does not want to be wearing it. <laughs> Looks like cocked off to the side and all disheveled, and, but she can't really get rid of it. It's awesome. <laughs> At least I think it's awesome. Also, it's hilarious. But anyway, so that's about where my life is. So I will. See everybody later.